Lich, thank you for the two months. Ben Jones, thank you for the prime. You're basically a pro athlete. How are you going to be on drugs? Thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Al. That's exactly what I say. I say that all the time. I saw one scene, though, with Lena Paul. She was fried, though. How do you know she was fried? I know what a man looks like after he comes, and he looks like he's been on hella drugs. Sometimes it doesn't even look like they were the good type of drugs, okay? So you take a big dick in your pussy or your ass and tell me how you're going to look. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, anytime, Vaso. What are some role models in your life that you look up to, especially when it comes to building a brand? Um, Kamora Lee Simmons. Uh, I love Kamora Lee Simmons. I think she's uh, done so many awesome things. There's so many things you don't even know that she's involved with. Um, and then also being an uh, amazing Asian businesswoman. I think, you know, um, being a businesswoman and is amazing, but it's really hard to be a businesswoman and be a dominating CEO type businesswoman. But then to also have a uh, race play a part in you, a part in your cards um, and to be able to overcome that is hugely immense. Uh, I know I'm not Asian. I'm I'm saying I look up to her for a lot of the things that that she's gone through and how she's become a CEO. Um, uh, I don't give a fuck what you have to say, but Kim Kardashian, Kris Jenner, they're amazing business people. Um, Paris Hilton herself. Yeah, she may have had money, but um, she still made a huge career and name for herself, even with just DJing and products. Um, uh, you know, somebody within the industry I look up to and I think is is uh, somebody I aspire to be like, I think uh, Mia Khalifa, just because of, you know, all of the good, good work that she does, how she's kind of branched into fashion um there's so many people i have so many so many people no i i don't shit on the kardashians i the kardashians are like politics to me like say what you will about them just don't say it to me because i love them <sighs> yeah they're fucking brand whores and they're trying to sell their brands yeah so what they are the only billionaires showing us what their life is actually like. When you can see into fucking Elon Musk's life and all the shit he's spending wasteless shit on, then talk to me, okay? They are they are business women and they are the only billionaires showing us what their life is really like. And that says a lot. They don't hide that shit. So I think that's really cool. And I also just love Kim Kardashian. I absolutely love her. I fucking love her. I love her so much. I will cry every time. I've met her twice and I will cry. I love her. If you want to talk about her for an hour, I could talk about her for an hour. But if you want to talk mean on her, I'm just going to ban you. <laughs> uh... Elon has burned Twitter to the ground six feet under. I don't even pay attention to that. There we go, Soda Cat. See, they divorced. Who the fuck is this guy? He's pure bullshit. Who the fuck is what guy? They are good looking women. And everything is so dead. Like, I just can't. I, it, it's really, it, you know, the people that talk shit on some of these these women and stuff like that. First of all, it's guys because they did a sex tape because women in power are forced to be reckoned with. And I'm not saying it because I'm a feminist. Women in power are forced to be fucking reckoned with. There was a reason why women had this mass fluctuation into jobs and careers and then in the 50s and the 60s, all of these women all of a sudden have mass hysteria and were taken out of these careers. But 70% of um, off the office workforce is women. Is women, okay? So women are a force to be reckoned with. And I actually think women um, could be better at running companies than most men. 
I, that's what I just truly believe. And, and, and I'm not trying to do this like sex argument and, and belittle men. I'm just thinking like, I, I really feel that there's a lot of, a lot of differences. Bless. Let's go into biz girl. Let's do it. Let's do it. That's all I want. I want women to take over business. I'm like, yo, the world's not ready. The world's not ready. They push us down so much, you know? That's facts. As a man, I agree. Oh, I love it, Eclipse. Women should stay in the kitchen, not in the office. Well, you're going to live a sad, same boring life. And I'm sorry for the women you ever encounter. I've been saying this since 2017 that you guys should be in charge for a while dudes have fucked it up there's actually a lot of really cool studies that show um that show how women and men virtually operate the same when it comes to business or um um social issues there's a lot there's a lot there's a lot of really cool studies i'll find them so we can have this topic again so i can have actual science behind the things i say so the naysayers like mr over here who's 